Hey guys, what's up? It's mob 2 for 7 is Brown, and today I'm gonna do a review on the on Apple on Apple's AV composite cable. It it's for your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and your regular iPod. I did an unboxing of this, but now I'm gonna do a review about it. So here's just the box, and I and when I opened it, I didn't know what this was this white square but then I looked at it and it was the wall charger so this is one thing that's included with it it's just a regular USB wall charger 2.0 I think and so all right, let me show you you open it like this and it just plugs into the wall and you plug in your iPod or your iPhone or whatever you have and this can even come out let me show you. There you go. As you can see, it popped out. And there's a slot where where the other end goes into and see here's the other part here's the part that goes into your outlet and here are the two circles that go into this so you just I don't know why this did this can be disconnected I guess you can add on something to this something else but you just slide this into place and you have a click and then you open it up you plug it in and there it is there's a charger and the other part was the composite AV cable as you can see the here it is uh, the, this end goes into your iPod or your iPhone it's just a regular dot connected that goes to the bottom of it there's not there's no button on the side so it just goes in easily and, and, and can be pulled out it's pretty thick so I guess they wanted it so it wouldn't break and the wire is pretty thick also the wire is just like a regular iPod charging wire is is white it has the same smooth texture and when it reaches to here it splits into three one is for the USB so you can charge it one of them uh, goes into one wire and then it splits into two which is uh, both the audio see the, this is white and this is red so that's audio wires and here and the third one is the video wire see so you can have like only audio or only video or even both and if you guys can't tell this whole wire is about six feet long yeah, because I measured myself and I'm 5'11 and this is like a little bit taller than I am. So I guess they added this so I guess you could charge it and connect your iPod at the same time. Alright, so let's try this. Hold on. Let me just get my iPod. iPod 2G. Alright, there it is. Now, let me just connect it to my TV. As you can see, my TV is not that new. It's just a regular old TV in my room. I cleaned up for you guys. It's a regular TV in my room. I set it to the TV video. I hope that one is it. And here where it's going to plug in. See, this is the video the white audio and the red audio so let's plug those in let's get the wire here is the video All right. and try not to pull on this wire because it's kind of flimsy and you don't want it to break because you, you just spent 50 bucks on it and here is the two audio. 
here is red and here is white. So let's plug that in. Well, you guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, so those are all in. Alright, so here, this is what goes into the end of this. Most likely, if you want to charge your iPod or your iPhone while you're viewing it on your TV. Alright, so let me connect this. Alright, see, all good. I'll put it right here. I don't know what this is called. If you guys know what it's called, please tell me. I think it's like a surge protector. I'm not sure. Alright, so that's in. And here is the other end. This one goes into your iPhone and your iPod. So let's just plug it in. As you guys might have heard, that was a charging noise. So you guys might not be able to see this, but it is charging. Sorry if you guys can't see, but it is charging. Wait. There you go. See the battery sign? It's charging. Alright, so I got that connected. And then nothing's showing up on my TV. Alright, so this is what you do. I had the same problem. So first of all, you want to, if your TV is not widescreen, then you might want to go into settings. Settings, and then you go into, and then you go into video. Alright, and you might not be able to see this, but right here it says widescreen, and mine is turned to off. It used to be on, and I tried it before, and it didn't work. So now I turned it off, and it works. And if you live in America, then you might want to put that to NTSC for the TV, TV signal. But if you know what yours is, then just make sure that it's checked. And leave everything the same. Alright, so now you want to leave this. And, alright, so now it should work. And I'm not sure if only, if only, um... If only you're going to be able to watch videos on your TV, but let's see, I don't have any videos currently on my iPod, but I have one when I download it, it from my movie app that I got from Cydia. So let's just go to DTunes and open up a movie that I have. Don't mess with this at home. Alright, so there you go. It loaded. Let me put the volume down. Alright, so there's the video. It's it's not playing on my iPod. There is nothing coming on my iPod. The video is coming on the television. On the iPod or your iPhone, the only thing you can do is pause, fast forward, re rewind, or like change the position of the movie. See? And then just take done. So my guess is that you are only able to view movies on your television. Let's try pictures. I have some pictures on my iPod. Can you view it on the TV? No. Let's try going into the photo section. So you go into settings. Let's see if there's an option for that. Photos. Alright, so there's no option for seeing it on the television. So I guess the only thing that you can view on your television that's on your iPod or your iPhone is your movies. So, yeah, so I, I guess that's it. This was my review of the Apple Composite Cable. The pro about this is that, so now you won't have to look at a small screen when you want to watch a video. Like, you and your friends can just sit around your TV and watch it. And I guess the, another pro would be that it comes with a wall charger. So, 
that you can just charge it anywhere you go. And a con would be that you can only view your movies on your on your you can only view your movies when you connect your iPod or your iPhone and you can't view anything else. So yeah, alright guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.